Hey, what is up guys? It's the Michigan Minecrafter back here with another video and today I'm once again in Bixopolis where I'm going to be showing you guys another really cool mod and guess what? It has to do with explosions again. Only this time as opposed to with the Rival Rebels mod, um, it's not going to completely obliterate the city. Instead, uh, these TNT are, are well, these uh, explosives are going to be a little bit more creative. Um, uh, so those of you out here who are familiar with uh, a lot of Minecraft mods, you might recognize this one. It's pretty popular. It's called the Too Much TNT mod. I, right? Yeah. Too many... Too much... It's, it's one of the two. Too much too, TNT. Yeah, Too Much TNT. Um, and... Um, this it's a somewhat old mod, so I've I've watched videos in the past that kind of explain what each of the different uh, types of TNT are. Only this is an updated version, and the mod creator has actually added a lot of new TNT that I have no clue what it does. So I'm gonna be really interested to see uh, and just experiment with this different TNT and just see what it does. So. I think what I'm basically going to do is just go through all of them and blow them all up in the city. Uh, and I know there's a lot, but I'll try to do it quickly. And obviously, I'm going to need a redstone torch just to light them off. I think I think they still work the same way as normal TNT. Um, but what better way to start it off than by blowing up a uh, an ender crystal? Boom! Obviously, that's not part of the mod, that's just part of normal Minecraft, but I always love blowing that up. Okay, so the first one we have is TNT times 5, so let's see what kind of an explosion we can get out of this. Set that down. Um, I'm just, oh, wait. Okay, I'm just going to get um, flint and steel then, there we go. And light that off, there it goes. So... All right, yeah, so that seems about five times as big as your average TNT blast. Obviously, I didn't give you guys really anything to compare it to, but yeah, that I would say is probably about five times. So let's see, TNT times 20, here we go. Set that one up there, light it off, there it goes. Let's see what this looks like. Wait for it. Boom! Dang, that was big. That's impressive. Blew away parts of the buildings. Oh yeah, definitely parts of the trees. And the glass over at Redstone Corporation. Wow, the whole front window panes of City Hall. Little bits of the mountain. You can see right into this guy's... Oh, actually, you can't. The door is still there. I was going to say, you can see right into that guy's apartment. And down into the sewer system, too. There we go. Um... All right, so the next one we got, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Um, I, this is TNT times 100. So I think what I'm going to do is just try to completely obliterate Redstone Corporation with this. What do you guys think? I think this is what we're going to do. So let's set that down, and kaboom. Oh, man, I just love explosives. Wait for it. These seem to be a little bit more delayed than your average TNT. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I think that did the job. Yes. Oh, my good. Wow. Okay. Okay. Chunk's still loading. Hold on. We're not quite seeing the full picture here. Okay. Yeah. So that did a really good job blowing away... Uh, Redstone Corporation, and basically the entire bank over here. Jeez, that is crazy. Oh, and half of the mountain, obviously. And, whoa. It, I don't know how it blew up all the way at the top of the, uh, the Lapis, to uh, the Lapis Lazuli Tower thing, but jeez, that had some, uh, that packed some punch right there. Okay, let's keep moving on here. Got the giant stone structure right there. Um, oh, geez, it gets even bigger? 
My God, TNT times 500. I'm a little bit afraid of what this is going to do. Uh, let's go light it off in the industrial uh, section of town. Okay. So I'm going to set that right there, right in between all these buildings. And then we're just going to say goodbye to this entire area because GG. Oh, God. Prepare for lag. Oh, geez. Did it freeze? No? Oh, oh, I heard something. Oh, geez. Oh, please don't crash. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, geez. Okay, waiting for the chunks to load in here. My gosh, look at the crater that thing made. That is impressive. Jeez. That basically blew away this entire mountain. Forget about not blowing up the entire city all at once. Um, yeah, that pretty much obliterated everything. Uh, left some floating blocks. That's kind of weird. But yeah, I'd say that did the trick. Jeez. Wow. Okay, that was impressive. Look at this, like, husk of a mountain right here. That's so funny. Um, let's see. What do we want to do next? We got Meteor TNT. Okay, I think I remember this from the videos, and this may crash, so prepare for that. Where do I want to do it at? You know what? Let's get rid of the rest of this uh, factory building right here. I don't like seeing all this random blocks scattered all over the place, so let's just get rid of the rest of it. Oh, please don't be as laggy as I think you're going to be. Oh, man. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Maybe I was thinking of a different mod, because I know... Um, oh, jeez. Still going. Wow. All right, there he, there we go. Jeez, that got rid of the rest of it. Let these chunks load in here real quick. Wow, that was impressive. That, yeah, wow, okay. Um, yeah, so that about did the trick as far as completely destroying the rest of that goes. Um, wow. Um, so let's see, what do we want to do next? Flat TNT. Hmm. Can't imagine what this does. Um, what would be a good place to spawn this in at? Let's spawn it right inside this mountain and see what it does. If I had to guess, I'd say this is just going to flatten it out. Or... Mm, yeah. I'd say that was pretty flat. Yeah. Not much damage there, but okay. Um... Mining flat TNT. Uh, I'm assuming since there's a difference between the two, this is probably going to be much larger. So let's do it in a bigger place, like the side of this mountain. Might as well. Okay. Set that down. Okay. And boom. Oh, that's cool. I like that. It actually sets, like, torches everywhere and stuff. Oh, that's actually cool. Um, let the chunks load in here. Wow, that actually went all the way around the entire radius of this uh, giant hole in the ground. <laughs> wow, my voice. Okay. Um, let's go grab some new TNT. With that being said, we can throw that out and throw all these into our inventory. And then, what kind of TNT do we need to do next? We got compact TNT, house TNT, uh, wood house TNT. Uh, you know what? Might as well. Let's do them. Fire TNT, snow TNT, ocean TNT, hellfire TNT. Okay. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So we got our compact TNT. What does that mean? Hmm, I'm curious. Uh, once once I start running out of like city to blow up, and geez, that got like shredded. Um, uh, 
I'm just going to start doing it to the surrounding landscape because I feel like if I'm just doing it in a completely destroyed wasteland, it's going to be a little bit harder to see what the actual destruction is. So let's set this down right in the middle of town here. There we go. And that was the compact TNT. Okay. So curious to... Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that makes sense. Wow. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I just said okay like 50 times. Um, yeah, so that was kind of cool. What else we got here? So, house TNT. I guess I'm just going to set this on a flat surface since I'm assuming it's probably going to create a house. And, yep, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, is there actually a door? Oh, it's over here. Okay, so it's like a little sort of like an NPC house. There you go. Um, and then I'm assuming these two are going to be pretty similar. So wood house, set that there, and brick house right there, and we could just set them both off at once. There we go. There's that, and there's that. Wow, okay. Kind of what I expected them to be. It's kind of cool. So I guess in a survival situation, if you somehow have the resources to craft this, I, I think it has a crafting recipe. I'm not going to show it, but... Um, yeah, there you go. Just set down some TNT and you got yourself a house. So, fire TNT. What would be a good place to do this? Ooh. I feel like Aiden's castle up here would be a good place to do this. Okay. I'm going to set this right here, right in the middle of the castle. Let's blow it up. Ooh, that's some cool particle effects right there. Got to appreciate some good particle effects. Whoa. Oh, you're burning my castle. Yep, I'm burning your castle. Oh man. That was that works pretty well, I guess. Um So I guess your floor is gonna burn down. <laughs> Jeez. Yep, so that was the fire TNT. So now we got snow TNT, which we're kinda already in a snow biome, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what this actually does. I'll just set it down at the bottom of this hole, I guess. So, curious to see how big this is actually going to be, because I feel like I already know what it's going to do. But, oh, okay, so not a huge area. Just kind of covers a nice little patch in snow. Um, ocean TNT. This could be interesting. Um, in fact, I think if I set it right here, hopefully it'll be enough to connect with that ocean and create a giant infinite water source. So maybe if I make it level with it, roughly. Okay, there we go. And we'll see if this actually... Oh, yeah, cool particle effects again. What? Oh, geez. Wow. Okay, that's cool. You know what? I'm going to set one more off right here just to fill in the rest of the space. So, i set that right there. We'll see what that does. Because I bet when that goes off, it's going to create an infinite water source right here. There it is. Will it start filling in? Uh, no. I guess it's kind of glitched. I don't know what's been going on with Minecraft water lately. I've been having lots of issues with this kind of stuff, but... Whatever, that's pretty cool. Yeah, geez, look at that. Oh, geez, and it's snowing too, so it's going to start freezing. Turn that off. We can use as little lag as possible. Because we need to reserve all of our PC power for... What? Oh, didn't finish the command there. Fall. There we go. Got to reserve all of our memory for the lag that is likely to come with this TNT. Okay, and now we got our last one, which is the Hellfire TNT. Can't imagine what this does. Probably looks like the Nether, if I had to guess. Let's try it out. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Okay, now I'm curious. And boom. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Um, if there's such thing as an ugly noise, that was it right there. That was a very ugly noise. And, okay, just got some random lava right there. 
So there you go. There's your Hellfire TNT. Got some ghasts wandering around now. Um, what am I doing? Why do I keep going into that? Okay. Now, so the last one we had was the Hellfire TNT. So now... This is it, right? Okay. Vaporize TNT. Ender TNT. Nuclear TNT. Can't imagine what that does. Uh, drill TNT. Drilling TNT. Oh, digging and drilling. Okay. Uh, ghost TNT. Multiply TNT. Cubic TNT. Okay. So, where do we want to do this? I'm not sure what Vaporize does. This will be interesting to see. You know what? Let's vaporize uh, the spawn monument over here. Okay. <laughs> In case you're wondering what this is, this is something Aiden made. Okay. So, set that down right there. About to vaporize spawn. Again, not really sure what this TNT does. What did that do? Uh, did that do anything? Maybe you have to do it near mobs. I guess that would kind of make sense. We got some horses over here we could vaporize, I suppose. Um, set that down right there. Set it off. Sorry, horses. Okay. It's for science. Okay. And again, it didn't do anything. Um, yeah. Okay. Not really sure what the point of that TNT is. Um, Ender TNT. Is this just TNT that transforms a little chunk of area into the end? Please don't teleport me to the end. Oh, jeez, no. What the heck? Whoa. That was weird. <laughs> it just shot me way out here. Maybe that's what it meant. It just, like, teleports you, in a sense, to another area. Did it actually do anything to the landscape at all? Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Maybe blew up a couple of blocks, but yeah. Basically just shot me all the way over there. Okay, now for some nuclear TNT. Let's take it back into the city for this one. Or actually, we can take it into the rest of the town over here. Because I'm assuming it's just going to completely obliterate it. So... Set it down right here, smack dab in the middle of town. And run away. <laughs> oh, jeez. And prepare for lag. Sorry, Iron Golem, you are so dead. Oh, boy. I have a feeling that doesn't exist anymore. And I was right. <laughs> It is all gone. And interestingly, as opposed to the nuclear TNT from uh, Rival Rebels, this actually coats everything in a, um, in a, what's the word? Uh, uh, radioactive, like, sludge kind of stuff. And if you're in survival mode, it actually gives you a poison effect. And the reason I know that is because that's one of, like, the oldest features of the mod. Um, okay, so the next one is Digging TNT. I feel like I probably know what this one is. Uh, if I had to guess, it's probably going to dig a hole straight down. Am I right? Violate the number one rule of Minecraft? Yep. It looks like it. Wait, how far down does it go? Okay, not that far down. Um, but that TNT could actually be helpful if you think about it. Especially if you want to know what's down below, like your house or something. Or uh, if you're looking for um, like a stronghold or something. That could actually be really helpful. So then the next one is Drilling TNT. I'm interested to see what is going to make this different from Digging TNT. Oh, jeez. Look at that. The leaves are just blown off the trees over here, probably from that nuclear blast. Okay, so set that down right there. Let's see what this one does. Maybe it's just like a, a wider hole. Oh, all right. Yep, looks like it. Oh, oh, and it goes all the way down to bedrock, too. Jeez. 
sets a little bit of water at the bottom. I'm not sure if that would have been there uh, by default, but hmm, that's actually pretty helpful. Um, so the next one is Ghost TNT. Not really sure what that means, but let's do it with the statue over here. Put that down. Uh, did that do anything? Uh, I'm confused. I heard an explosion, although I'm not sure where it actually happened at. Let's set it out in the middle of the ice and see if we can see anything. Let's try that out. Oh, does it just blow up like way down below? This would be a good place to test it out at, I guess. Okay, so light it off. And what? Okay, that's confusing. Uh, I have no idea what that actually does. So multiply TNT. This could be interesting. I'm not. Maybe I should set it next to a mob because I have a feeling it has to do with mobs. Let's head back over to the horse ranch. All right. So fly back over to here. Assuming there's still some horses left. Hopefully. Yep, we got a couple in there. So. Set it in there. Set it right next to this horse. Hopefully we get more than one horse. Assuming that's what it actually does. Uh, no. Oh! Wow, look at all those items on the ground. Okay, that's what it does. It multiplies the amount of items that you get from something. That's actually helpful too. Um, so what's the next one we got? Last one is cubic TNT. Let me guess, it blows a giant cube into the ground. Oh, sorry horse. It's for science. Oh, yep. Cubic TNT. <laughs> I just want to set one more down to go a little bit lower into the ground. Yep, that's like perfect. Okay. Um... So what do we got next? We got... Ah, oh, what was the last one? Okay, cubic TNT, erupting TNT. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Uh, chemical... Right. Yeah, chemical TNT, floating TNT, freeze TNT, timer TNT, reaction TNT, animal TNT, sand firework TNT. Hmm. Sounds interesting. So, let's try a couple of these out over here. Erupting TNT. This could turn out interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, what? Oh, no! Oh, jeez. That was actually cool. Yeah, so it just erupts TNT out of itself. Um... So, chemical TNT. Curious about this one. So, set that down. There we go. Uh, whoa! Alright, that was crazy. Um, I'm assuming maybe if you're like in survival mode or something, that it probably gives you some sort of potion effect, since it's called chemical TNT. I'm not really sure how this implies, like, chemical, but I don't know. Uh, oh, floating TNT. I remember this one. Oh, this is cool. Um, let me find a good spot. What is a good spot? Um, oh, man. I gotta, I gotta make the most of this one. Is there like a cool building or something I want to make float? Because that's what this does. If you set this off on something, it makes it like float in the sky. So, mm, ooh, we can make the statue float. That could be interesting. Assuming it doesn't have some sort of weird drawback. So, set that down right there. Cross our fingers. This actually works. Right? This is the right TNT, right? That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, no. 
That's not the TNT I was thinking of. Okay. Apparently, it's literally just TNT that floats into the sky. That works. Okay. Um, what else we got? Freeze TNT. Can't imagine what this does. If I set this over water, does it freeze it? Uh, yeah. Yep. Just what I thought. Okay. <laughs> kind of figured. Okay, so next one we got is Timer TNT. Not really sure what the point of this one is other than that you can just time it. Um, oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, oh, geez. Does it, like, switch types of TNT? Um... Okay, I guess it's just TNT that takes a really long time to blow up. So this episode is getting a little long here, guys. I'm going to split it up into a few different ones. But if you enjoy, definitely be sure to hit that like button and tune in to the next episode of Too Much T of the T Too Much TNT Mod Mod Showcase. I'll see all you guys in the next video.